Hello friends, welcome to a fresh new episode of our channel RG Innovations. If you have not subscribed already, please subscribe to our channel, click on the bell button and select all to get all future notifications of our video uploads. In my previous project, I have discussed about APR 33A3 8 channel sound recording and playback module. In that video, I have shown how to use the module, what are the functions and what are the features of this APR 33A3 module. And some of you asked me how we can use this board with a microcontroller. So today I will demonstrate how we can use this module with a Arduino Uno 3. So here I have an Arduino compatible board. You can use any version of Arduino. I am using Arduino Uno so that I can easily connect the headers. You can use any available Arduino board where there are available 8 I.O. ports for connecting with this APR 33A3 module. So now I will connect the APR 33A3 module with the Arduino. I am using jumper cables from M1 to M8. I will connect to the pin 2 to pin 9 of the Arduino. So M1 to pin number 2. M2 to pin number 3. M3 to pin number 4. M4 to Arduino pin number 5, M5 to Arduino pin number 6, M6 to Arduino pin number 7, M7 to Arduino pin number 8 and M8 to Arduino pin number 9. So the I.O. ports from the Arduino are connected to the M1 to M8 pins of the APR 33A3 module. Let me bring it a little closer. I hope you can see clearly. Now I will connect the speaker to the APR 33A3 module. Now we need to give power supply to APR 33A3 module. This time I am giving power supply from the Arduino board from the 5 volt pin so connecting the red pin to the 5 volt pin and connecting it to the 5 volt pin of the arduino and the black pin black header wire to the ground pin of the apr 33 a 3 module connecting it with the ground pin of the arduino and here i am using a switch this is a momentary push button i will use this to give pulse to the arduino and I'll use the ground pin and the pin number 13 of the Arduino for giving pulse to the Arduino module. So here I am connecting it with pin number 13 and the ground pin of the Arduino. So our connection is complete. Now what is the basic function of this module is when I press this button, the audio track which is recorded in the APR 33A3 module will play one by one. So first we need to record audio tracks into the APR 33A3 module. For that we will move the record play switch to the recording position and we have to record the audio one by one by pressing this M1 to M8 buttons. So first let us record the audio. So one by one we will record the audio in each audio track. But first we need to give power to the Arduino so that the board gets powered. So I am connecting the USB from my computer. You see as I connected the red LED here is glowing. Here the red LED is glowing for the power. Now we will record the audio. Hello. This is channel 1. Hello. This is channel 2. Hello. This is channel 3. Hello. This is channel 4. Hello. This is channel 5. Hello, this is channel 6. Hello, this is channel 7. Hello, this is channel 8. So I have recorded in all the 8 tracks. Now we will see how Arduino managed to play this. We need to put the sliding switch of record play to the playback position. So we are sliding it to the playback position. Now we need to program the Arduino. Now I am moving to my computer screen for uploading the Arduino sketch. This is the Arduino sketch that I have written. Here I have defined the output pins in an array and declared the pin number 13 as a button pin. 
Now in the setup part, I have declared the array of pins as output and initially set all the pins to high. I have set the initial value to high because I have set the input pin mode with input pull up. That means when the button is not pressed, the status of the input pin will be high. I need it to be high because the APR C3 A3 module is a low level trigger module. The input pins need to be low to operate. So initially I have set all the pins to high state. Now here I am reading the input value of the button and then if the input pin is low, input value is low, I am writing the M1 pin as low and then after a delay writing the M1 pin as high. Just for a trigger, I am turning the M1 pin low for fraction of a second and then the value increases here and this way each time I press the button, the audio stored in the APR C3 A3 module will play one by one. So this is our code. Now I will upload the code. I have selected here COM4, Arduino board is selected, Arduino Uno and now I will upload the sketch. Sketch compiling done, uploading done. Now we will move back to the desktop. Here we are back to the desktop and you see here the sketch is loaded and there is no sound. Now I will check what happens when we press this button one by one. Pressing it one time. Hello. This is channel 1. Pressing it second time. Hello, this is channel 2. Pressing it third time. Hello, this is channel 3. Hello, this is channel 4. Hello, this is channel 5. Hello, this is channel 6. Hello, this is channel 7. Hello, this is channel 8. So one by one we pressed and each channel of the audio is played. Now after the playing of channel 8, if we press it once again, the channel 1 will play. Hello, this is channel 1. So this way you see we have interfaced the Arduino with the APR C3 A3 module. I have used a push button only. You can connect any sensor like an ultrasonic sensor, like a distance sensor, like a color sensor like a PIR sensor and record your message accordingly as per your need. Like for the ultrasonic sensor, you can record various distances. For the PIR sensor, you can record a message of intrusion detection. If you connect different sensors, then you can use different messages for different sensors. I have shown a simple application of how to connect the Arduino with the APR C3 A3 module. I will give the link of the Arduino sketch in the description section. You can download it from there and you can check it from there. So today it was a small demonstration of Arduino and APR C3 A3. Hope you liked the video. And those who have asked me how to connect the APR C3 A3 module with an Arduino have got your answer. So here I conclude today. If you like the video, please hit the like button. And if you have not subscribed to my channel Arts Innovations, please subscribe to my channel. We will meet again in a new video. Till then, bye bye. Take care. Have a nice time. And thank you again for watching.